light rhythm, poetry of place, um, other artists. These are the things that inspire me. Yes, I draw inspiration from my garden and from this space. I feel like all the elements of this space really lead me to the garden. Without the garden, the space would not be what it is. I inherited this domain from my late husband. My husband was an architect. It was his office. My name is Susan Sugar. A lot of people call me Susie, but Susan Sugar. And I'm now a painter. I was a dancer, and I think I jumped out of the womb into the arts. My background in dance really distinguishes me as a painter. I feel musical, I feel rhythmic, I feel the things that, the elements that really I worked with most of my life as a dancer, I transferred to the canvas. Nature-oriented, transcendentalist like uh, Robert Frost and Thoreau and Coco Chanel. <laughs> But it really was initially a way of digesting the changes in my life and wondering what comes next. More and more, I've skirted the edge of abstraction, which is very much like dancing. And, um, and of course, I'm, I'm healed. <laughs> it definitely heals you watching the sunrise every day for months at a time. So. The garden, if I'm blocked, if I'm working and I come across a block or I'm beating a dead horse or I'm stuck or I'm tired, uninspired, I go into the garden. In New York, it's very different. But here, either I'm holding a brush or I'm holding a shovel. That's the way it is here. Lucky Street Gallery discovered me in 1995, and I've always been associated with Lucky Street is now co-owned by John McIntosh, and we just lost John McIntosh. It's a, a very sad moment for all of us, for the entire town, but I find it really ironic. The show is called Leaving Shore, and we are going to go ahead with it as a tribute to his great efforts as an artist and as a owner and partner at Lucky Street. I'm very proud to be there.